Okay, so by default, when you create a new landing page in Kajabi, uh, it tends to use the title and make this very ugly looking long URL. But if you wanted to share that out with people, it's not very easy. So I'm gonna show you in this video how you can just customize that and make it look a little bit more attractive and more memorable. So we're in the Kajabi dashboard and I'm in the pages section and we've come across two landing pages. So this is active, these are our current pages. And I tend to write the descriptions of the titles to what I'm waiting for. So this is the Ecamm Academy wait page. Page. Um, we've got thank you for joining the page, things like this. I put that in the title so that I can search back to them. It doesn't take long. We've got 259 landing pages here. I want to be able to search that and find it. I want to clearly be able to see what it is, not have to open it up to realize it. So let's just play with this at the minute and let me show you what I'm talking about. We're going to create a new landing page. Don't worry, we're not going to be building out the page itself. Simply going to grab uh, this blank one from here and get started. And it says, what title do you want to put on this? And I'm going to say, Kajabi Academy 2022 registration page. That's how I want it to list up when I'm looking back at this and uh, create. There we go. We've got a sign to say that we're ready to go and our page is in. Now we're not going to do anything on this page. All I want to do is click up here on the landing pages, come back a page and we're going to be working under these three dots over here and edit details. So click here, edit details and in we go. Now this then is the URL that it's given me. AdrianSalsby.com, Kajabi Academy 22, and so on, with these spaces in between. Now I don't wanna do that. If somebody says to me, hey, I wanna register for your academy. I don't wanna to have to go, right, well it's Kajabi hyphen academy hyphen, and I couldn't type this out either. All I want this to say is Kajabi. And so what I can do, you can actually completely blank this area out in here and let's just try Kajabi. Now, as long as I haven't already used this somewhere else, that will be fine. And I can come down here and click save. And then when I copy over here and I come up, let's just grab another tab and we'll drop this in just to prove this works. And there it is, it's now brought in that page. And that is so much nicer to give out as a URL to somebody. And uh, if I'm talking and maybe I'm at a meeting or I'm on a live with somebody and they say, oh, you need to come and join our Kajabi Academy. Oh, it's adriansalsbury.com forward slash Kajabi. We do it with all the software that we use. I'm gonna show you in another video, which you can catch up here, how we can do this with affiliate links as well. And really nice system for being able to tidy these things up and look a lot more professional. While we're in here, what I would just do, we've changed this title up here. Again, maybe I don't want to show this in the title that people are seeing. So I could do the same thing down here. And maybe I just want to say Kajabi Academy. In fact, I don't even need the date in it. Let's just say Kajabi Academy. I'm not putting a description in, although maybe I could. This would be the point where I'd say, if someone's searching for this in Google and it comes up there, this will be that line that comes up underneath it. So Kajabi Academy, come and join us for the 2020 opening of the Kajabi Academy, da da da. And then do pick an image as well and pop that in here. Select a recent file. I'm just going to grab something for now just to pop it in here to let you see what I'm talking about. I'll pick this one off here for now. It's similar to how I would have this. And so while we're tidying up the actual URL, we've also now tidied up the title. We've given it a nice thumbnail. So if this gets shared out, if I were to put this into a Facebook group and say, hey, come and join Kajabi, you know it does that little preview. This will be where it pulls that information from, the title, the description, and the thumbnail. And so as long as we save it down here, we're all good. Okay, hopefully you found that useful. As I say, if you're interested in seeing how we can do this with affiliate links and hide those, uh, we've got that coming up in the next video. So be sure to catch that now.